guys, so my name is Sophia and I'm going to be doing my first grocery haul on this channel. Um, this definitely looks like a big mess. Um, I tried to fit it all onto my table, but I had to leave actually like a few things out, which I'll show you in the video if it's like necessary. Um, a little background story. Uh, all this stuff is from a military base that we are stationed near. Uh, my husband's in the Navy and um we eat vegetarian at home um my, there's some tuna stuff there for my husband's like work lunch because he does not eat full vegetarian all the time so you'll see a lot of um <coughs> i guess vegetarian friendly things and vegan friendly things too as well i don't eat a ton of cheese don't drink a lot of milk actually i don't really drink milk ever um, and we do eat eggs, but we have hens. It's very typical to have hens here. So I'm going to get started with the vegetables because it is the most unorganized um, part. And I'm really sorry if this is, like, shaky. I don't know if I'm ever going to get, like, a fancy tripod. But, oh, see, there we go. I'm shaking. But I guess we'll see. We'll try this out. You guys can give me some pointers before that. So I'm going to start with these bags. Um, I got the arugula which this is like the Spanish way of saying it because we live in Spain. Um, I put this on like pizzas. I put it in sandwiches and salads. I love it in uh, sandwiches and pizzas. It's kind of like, um, I don't want to say it's like spicy, but it does have like a little kick to it. Um, we have spinach and this also goes with um, eggs. This can go in... Um, I think I'm going to be using it in a lasagna. I can't remember the recipe fully off the top of my head. Um, this goes with, I mean, salads, anything that you want to put spinach in. And then also I feed it to my hens. Like we'll buy a few bags of this and um, give it to the hens and they really like that. I got some, this is basil. This is for a recipe, you know, pasta dishes, egg bake dishes. I can't remember off the top of my head what I'm using this for. Next time I'm going to have to keep the like keep a list so I can be like yeah I'm using this for this <laughs> see I'm learning as I go um this is cilantro this is also for another recipe obviously I think I'm gonna try and make that like peanut Thai noodle thing that they had on that tasty you know everybody watches that tasty thing on Facebook I generally like can never do the recipes because they're all like filled with meat and milk and cheese and I try to stay away from that and um, this one doesn't have it, so I'm kind of nervous. I think it might be a little sweet, but it'll be exciting. My husband will like it a lot. All right, my dogs are joining us. There's a mess on the floor. Don't mind that. Um, so I got mushrooms. I actually got a lot of mushrooms. Uh, like I said, this lasts us for two weeks, and we eat mushrooms with our breakfast because we make kind of like an en English breakfast. So you have the eggs, and we make um, what we call a monster eye, which some people call call it like a toad in the hole or something like that I can't, I can't quite remember what people call it um and then we use like hot sauce um english beans which i'll show you in a minute and then we use the mushrooms that we kind of saute in our vegan butter or olive oil with some pepper um and that's one of our favorite breakfasts especially on the weekend i'm kind of like putting everything in this bag but it's clean so I got a giant English cucumber. This will go with eggplant steaks, um, salads. You can see my dog is sniffing. This will also go with, um, oh, what else? I don't know anything that you want cucumber in. Um, my husband often has like a feta and cucumber and Roma tomato salad with some like a balsamic glaze on it. And I just buy that glaze like in town, but you can also make it yourself. Um... So I have a sweet potato. I generally only need one. This is good for both of us. My husband really likes this with um, rice, and I like it as well. I keep saying my husband, my husband, but I guess I'm essentially trying to give ideas to people, especially, you know, that they cook a lot or they have somebody else that they need to make lunch for, dinner for, besides themselves. And it's, you know, it's man-approved. And you, um, like I said, he eats vegetarian, uh, vegan base at home, and he's pretty happy with everything. Okay, I got three red onions. These also go into salads, and these also go into, um, like, pasta dishes, uh, like, cold pasta dishes, but salads, like, kind of Asian-inspired dishes. These are the two eggplants. One is going to be for a vegan eggplant um, lasagna that I'm going to try, and then the other one's going to be a lasagna steaks, um, like a Moroccan-style lasagna, I guess Moroccan-flavored lasagna steak. 
if you guys want to know about that just ask me and these are spanish cucumbers as well and they're i use them for salads and things like that i generally don't buy that many cucumbers but there were no zucchini um oh, oh and i have uh bell peppers this is not the only one that i have i've got i think i've got like four of them but i just um i guess i just wanted them out of the way there wasn't enough room roma tomatoes uh these are my favorite kind of tomatoes you know for salads and whatever you need fresh tomato for and then carrots which i also use in smoothies so i'll use this in like a mango orange juice smoothie um or like a mango orange juice in like almond milk smoothie or something or coconut powder milk smoothie whatever fits your fancy it's good for your eyes all right, and on to the fruit. So I've got avocados. We eat avocados like they're crack. And I'm sorry if that's really not a tasteful joke, but we eat avocados like crazy. We eat them with our breakfast. Um, or I'll have like an avocado and um, like hot sauce um, sandwich. You can totally see me. <laughs> I don't want to show my face. I'm like exhausted. But uh, so yeah. Uh, green onions, which is like rare. I could never find them at the commissary and I can hardly ever find them off base. Generally they have leeks and I'm not a fan of leeks. Like I don't even really like these particular green onions that much, but they're still better to me than leeks. And this is a vegetable. I don't know why it's in this bowl. Um, bananas. I can't remember if I said bananas, but bananas for smoothies and just like eating in general. We've got lemons. Lemons are for water, for salads, like the cucumber salad I was talking about um or just dishes i think i have a few that need lemon and then lime as well water um not so much salad but more like dishes and then i got little lychees i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right sorry i deposit because i had to cough i have a little cold and that's it on the fruit i need to buy a bag of oranges um so i can make orange juice i generally don't eat oranges just like as they are i always make orange juice or i buy orange juice so I'm just going to move that out of the way. Tell me, too, if I'm talking too much. I just like to explain everything. All right, so... Oh, look at I forgot. I bought some jalapenos. Jalapenos are super expensive here. I actually don't even remember how much they cost in the States, but... Well, I guess it's not so bad. This is $2.05, but sometimes they're really expensive. Um... <coughs> I'm sorry and I'm just gonna show you this now I make jalapeno poppers without cheese and I use um, a cream like with um, I use soaked cashew cream and I also use like some spices like garlic and onion and southwestern spice depending on how spicy I want it and I also use um, nutritional yeast sorry I was trying to think of like the the kind of cheesy flavor that I use and it's really yummy and you can also put a little bit of um uh what is it called like the liquid smoke in there just a drop and it kind of gives it that bacony flavor all right i got these 100 calorie mini packs um these are for my husband's lunch i might have them we're not like huge pretzel fans but i was just trying to find him things that he could eat at work he's at work for a really long time so um these i think he would like i don't eat these but the spicy Thai chili um, <clears throat> seasoned tuna medley. I guess it's like a little tuna builder, and these are also just like the regular one. I got three of those. Uh, my husband's a child, so I bought him the Yoda and the, what is this? Is it R2D? No. Is it R2D2? I don't know. I'm really horrible. C3PO? I don't know. I'm sure somebody will yell at me for that. He'll probably yell at me if he ever sees that, but I just thought that was kind of funny. So I bought him that for like when I'm not around. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm really sorry. These are the Tostitos Cantina Traditional. These are our favorite tortilla chips. And to move along, we eat this with the hummus. And we eat hummus also like crazy. So I've got three hummuses. And I should start making it on my own. But I just don't. These will also go with his um, pretzels. Sorry, I'm like... I'm not trying to apologize too much, but I'm not trying to cough too much. I've had, like, we call it the, I don't really necessarily want to say where I am, but we call it the plague. And um, there's something that goes around every six months, and it just gets everybody, and it lasts forever, and that's what I'm dealing with right now. 
So these are also for my husband, instant grits. I eat these on occasion. Um, he just likes these for breakfast if he's like going to work or if I'm not around. These kind bars um, are also something that he brings to work. I eat these on occasion as well. I feel like these are vegan. I feel like maybe I'm totally missing something. I feel like these are vegan. Unless, I don't know, is there something in there that's not vegan? I don't even think it's like real, it's not like milk chocolate, chocolate liqueur, I don't know. Well, anyways, these are the ingredients in these. And we like them. My husband's cinnamon life. I eat this on occasion as well. I feel like, oh, this is my husband's, this is my husband's, but I just don't really eat cereal a lot. Like, unless I'm super duper duper hungry, I'll eat it, but mostly him. This is our bedtime tea, which actually, I've only bought this like a few times, but I've been drinking this cold tea because obviously, as you can tell, I'm dying a little bit. And uh, my husband's really liked it. And he kind of likes something to relax at night because he goes to school and work all day and goes to the gym. And so it works for both of us. We try to get things that we're both going to kind of drink because I don't want like him to feel like I'm leaving him out. Because there are some times where I just like won't buy cereal. And there are some times I just like won't buy something he wants because I just forget because like I don't need it. I don't know. That's silly. But I got these panko breadcrumbs. This is for like a tomato appetizer dish that I'm going to try and make. I actually have to get more tomatoes. I totally forgot. I had panko on the list and then I forgot why I bought them. But um, I should have took a fresh tomato on my list twice as a hint, but I didn't. I'm really tired today. <laughs> Um, so these are the Tofurky oven roasted slices. I actually don't love these, but for a quick thing, like quick sandwiches and stuff, it's not a big deal. We don't have a ton of options uh, for like vegan meat uh, where I live at the commissary. Even out in town, it's not that great. Um, so we're kind of looking forward to move to the States to try all the options that I see on YouTube or whatever. So that's for like pita pockets. I bought pita pockets the other day for that. Um, flour tortillas. I have two of them. I like these ones. One of them is for an avocado and feta, like, um, puffy fried taco. I don't really know how to explain it. It looked really good. And then these ones are for my husband's breakfast burrito. Well, mine and my husband's breakfast burritos. I also eat those as well. Um, this is kind of a treat. I don't buy a lot of soda in the house. Um, hey, you can see me in all my no, no sleep glory. Um, anyway, so the, the Canada Dry is for me. I grew up on Verner's, if anybody knows what that is, and I can't get it here. I couldn't even, I don't even think I could find it at our last duty station. <clears throat> but I also like the real stuff, like the real ginger ale that's super gingery. Um, and the Sierra Miss is for him. Uh, he likes Sprite, so I just thought I'd grab us that. Um, oh, I forgot a vegetable. Look at, see, I'm unorganized. <laughs> Um, these are like, I don't even really know the actual, like, name. I know it's lettuce, but I don't, it's like baby lettuce. I don't know. Um, pesto. I know I can make this myself. I generally make a lot of things myself, but I needed it for a recipe that I've never tried, and I just didn't feel like making it. Um, some lasagna for that vegan lasagna. Actually, I don't even know if this is vegan. Yep, it's vegan. So, yep, yep, it's vegan. I might add some cheese into it. I don't know. I'm going to ask Adam what he wants. Um, this is just spaghetti. <clears throat> linguine for the, like the, well, one, we like pasta with linguine, but also for the, um, like the Thai, the tasty recipe I'm trying. On to the drinks. Okay, I don't like soy milk. I just don't like it but this is all they had and I didn't I got like three hours of sleep last night was up at six I didn't feel like going to another store after I picked up Adam from work and so I just grabbed this and if I drink it I have to drink it soon anyway but I'm gonna get uh, almond milk probably tomorrow um this is mine which I've actually already kind of drank out of I'm addicted to coconut water I drink it a lot uh every kind of every time I go grocery shopping I get a couple of these big ones I only got one this time but I'm gonna go back tomorrow anyway 
We've got the Tropicana orange juice, which I use if I'm not like juicing the oranges. Creamer with the Star Wars. The Italian sweet cream is a favorite. And then this is for my husband. He likes regular milk, so I'm not gonna like not buy that for him. All right, this is Rudy's Colorado cracked wheat bread. This is vegan. Um, we really actually like this a lot. Like, it it's a little spongy, but it's not super spongy. It might be a little bit dry, but I mean, I shouldn't. Say, oh, it's a little dry. It's a little spongy. It's definitely vegan bread, but it's very good. You know, it um, cooks well. It is great with sandwiches. So. The Rudy's cracked wheat and it's soy free, dairy free, organic, vegan, non GMO, so it's basically ice. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting down now, but this is kind of like a mess as well. I need to figure this out how to organize this, but I'll get there. So I got two of these big cans of tomatoes. These ones are my favorite. I make tomato bisque soup a lot, so I use these for the tomato bisque soup. Um, and maybe some like sauces if I feel like making like a pasta sauce or something. Um, I always have leftovers, but I always make a big batch of tomato bisque soup and I use either soy cream, regular cream, or I use the cashew cream that I make it. I've also used tahini, so it just depends on kind of what I have at my house. Um, I have cannelli beans, um, or cannell and whatever, white beans, navy beans, um, these are for, um, bean meatballs, like meatballs, which I made last week and my husband loved them and I loved them and I'm going to be making them a lot more often. They were definitely super good. You can make them vegan or you can do it with egg. I do it with egg because we have hens, so it's just convenient. Um, black beans, we eat a lot of beans. Black beans for, like, wraps and I'm actually going to be making black bean burgers um garbanzo beans this is also going to be for pita sandwiches so instead of tuna fish sandwiches we're gonna have like the garbanzo bean sandwich and i'm waiting for my just mayo to come in from vitacost it was not sponsored i'm not sponsored by them i just love vitacost so i just bought some garbanzo beans um might as well show this because it's in the way i got some feta crumbles it's pretty much the most cheese that we buy sometimes we buy other things um, Heinz beans for breakfast. I've got two, three of those. We eat those a lot. <clears throat> um, what is this? Tomato sauce. Green chilies for a recipe. Well, I guess it's all for a recipe. This is for various tomato dishes. More white beans. Um, more tomato sauce and puree for sauces and especially the bisque soup. And this is also for the bisque soup and, um, other dishes. I might make an egg curry dish that I like. All right, this is kind of like miscellaneous stuff that I needed. Um, rice vinegar, which I think is for the tasty, re tasty recipe. But I'll also use it for, um, other things. Regular vinegar, which I can't remember why I needed it, but it's written down somewhere. Um... Sea salt, which I generally don't buy, but I don't know. I keep seeing recipes, and they're like, sea salt, sea salt, sea salt. So I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. And this was, like, only $4. By the way, maybe that's expensive in the States. I honestly can't remember the commissary prices or just, like, regular grocery store prices. Um, but it's expensive to shop at the grocery or at the commissary um, on base occasionally. Just where we live, at least, because of, you know, shipping reasons. Minced garlic. Um, I do buy fresh garlic. But sometimes it's just nice to have this quick minced ginger and minced garlic. This is deli mustard spicy brown for sandwiches. And um, I'm going to use it for the chickpea. Or no, I'm going to use it for egg salad sandwiches eventually. <clears throat> Toothbrushes. Especially since I've been sick, I've been replacing my toothbrush a little bit more often. <coughs> Excuse me. Um for obvious reasons and I replace I probably replace them every four months sometimes every six months I don't know my husband has braces and I just think that you should replace it so I do peanut butter which is something I never buy but I bought it for the um tasty recipe and that'll be good with like pretzels or bread or whatever and then sun-dried tomatoes I think this is supposed to go into the um lasagna I'm making but I also like this in like cold pasta so they're nice to have around if I get invited to an event I can make something up pretty quickly 
Now I'm going to show you the frozen stuff. All right, here's my frozen stuff. I've had this set off to the side. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. The uh, teriyaki chicken strips. I love these. My husband loves these. Husband approved, man approved. Well, non-vegetarian or vegan approved. So that's mostly the reason. I bought these ones for sandwiches or his salads or whatever. These are actually really good. Like, it's crazy how good they are. And they're not too bad. There's not a whole bunch of junk in them. I mean, you can read that if that's not crooked. Sorry, that might be crooked. Um, this one is the mandarin orange one. And then I have some mangoes, which need to be put into the freezer. See, I'm all crooked. Um, that is for smoothies. And then I just have the banana strawberry mix, which I don't always use like the little powder inside because it's full of like sugar, but I just like that those are mixed. And then I have two of these vegan burritos. These are my favorite. So yeah, <clears throat> that is my mess of a grocery haul. This is from the commissary. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And I really hope to be doing this a lot more often.